it's time to finish packing. And it's very, very important that when you guys are getting ready, when you first start thinking about a trip, do your research on the internet about packing and things like that and listen to what people are saying. So for the Alaska trip, they're saying that you need to dress in layers. You got to be ready for everything. You got to be ready for a cold, rain, wind, sunshine, warm temperatures, cold temperatures. So this has been a challenge for us because we're used to going to like the Caribbean. So what we did is we actually made our own little sheet. I have a list for my stuff, a list for Daryl's stuff, and then a list of group things that we need. So it was very important because some people have more special needs than others. Um, like my husband, he is colorblind. So it's very important that we bring his color correction glasses so he can see the true beauty of Alaska. So I would highly advise a couple of months beforehand, make up a running list, whether you do a handwritten one for each person, how many changes of clothes. We're going to be in Alaska for, um, I think it's 15 days total. So we're not taking enough clothes for 15 days. Um, we're going to plan on taking and washing our clothes on the cruise ship. And that's what one of the things we're planning on doing to help not have to pack so much. We're already packing a lot of stuff like jackets and formal wear and shoes and uh, sleepwear. And then we have one container for all our extras, but we're leaving room so we can bring back souvenirs. So they're not fully packed, but there's room for when we come back that we can put things in. There's nothing worse than trying to carry on and you don't have enough room for everything. So as I'm doing my luggage, putting on the new material so I can know which ones are ours, um, I am taking off any previous tags that we may have had on there from previous trips. Sometimes you could end up with a little sticker that is from um, one of the airlines where they've tagged your stuff. So you wanna make sure those are taken off. The reason is, is if they scan that tag or the machine scans that tag, it's going to send it somewhere else, not to your destination. So it's very, very important that you take off any extra tags from previous flights. So we're almost ready for Alaska. So what do we have to do next? Well, we want to make sure that we tag our luggage so that we can recognize it. So me and Daryl went out and we're going to update our luggage with new material. And when I mean new material, you can go to Walmart and for like 96 cents, pick a design that you like. You can cut it into strips and put it on the handles of your luggage. And that way, and then also put a piece of it on one of your carry-ons. So if anything comes up missing, it's okay, this is the material that it was. So pick out a design that you really like and then cut it in strips and tie it to the handle so all of your bags have the same material on it. It's easier to find when it comes and off. it's easier to find when it comes off the conveyor. So and we ended up going first and buying the Ziploc bags, um, which these you just roll down and it takes the air out of them. And it was actually really, really easy. Uh, we really like these. Then we went to Walmart and then we got some of the magic bags. Um, we act, we kind of prefer the Ziploc ones <laughs> a little bit better. It just seemed like it was a little bit easier. These are both, again, you roll them up and you package your stuff up. We actually did Daryl's pillow, travel pillow. Got a, that way we have it for the plane. His we rolled up his jacket, you know, and this was really bulky, so we don't have to carry that on the plane. But this is the Ziploc one, and this was the Walmart one. So they do work. So, again, it's going to be your preference on what you like. But this was a space saver. So Daryl and I are taking two carry-ons each with us. Uh, one of my carry-ons is, my clothes are all in one, but this is the... Uh, additional stuff that we need or may need. So I have first aid kit, Dramamine, antidiarrheal, some Tums, some playing cards. I got a hot and cool bag 
because I know that we're going to be on the bus uh, for those five days. So we were packing some snacks. We're going to go to the store up there and get some cold stuff and some sodas. But from here, we went ahead and got some fruit bars, some oatmeal. Uh, we got a little things and we got some Lipton cup of soup. We also pack our thank you cards for our people that take care of us on the ship. Give them a little extra money, especially if they do a good job. Earplugs. We also found out that um, we take some little containers with us, empty containers. Sometimes on the cruise ship, we don't want pizza late at night. So we'll go to the buffet and get like a snackable set, like some meat and cheese, some crackers, uh, and some fruit for late night snacking. Um, it helps keep us out of the pizza area. My husband um likes the yellow stuff so i went ahead and got it yeah, some cough drops we put all of our stuff um in bags like our air freshener bug spray and all the things we have our ponchos we've got some heavy duty ponchos that we got in a couple extras we got our highlighters in case we need them again we packed our covid tests our binoculars all the little essential things that we feel that we would need. And there's also extra room in here in case when we come back, this stuff won't be here. We have room for souvenirs. So this is our all other case. Just thought I would share that with you. So all being said and done, me and Daryl are both taking two checked bags each. We're both going to have... I'm going to have my computer bag, which I'm going to actually put my purse into. And then for my carry-on, I'm actually taking our cameras. So I'm going to have that. My husband is going to have his carry-on, which is going to have our jackets, uh, you know, shrunk down so we can have them and some pain medicine in case for the trip we get a little achy. Uh, stuff we need to have right with us uh, through that. And then he's going to have his backpack as his carry-on. So that way we're not overloaded with everything, but we have enough while we're gone. So a lot of luggage this time. However, I think we have everything we need. So it's very important. Prep early. Make a list. Check it twice before you leave. And have fun. There's always stores, but it's going to be a little expensive. Just trying to save a little money here and there. All right, I hope you enjoyed these tips. Good luck with your packing, and I hope you enjoy your trip. Alaska, here we come. So I hope that you found something that was useful for you if you are planning an Alaska trip, whether it being the containers, uh, marking your bags so you can easily find them um, with the airports and things like that. So if you did find something useful, say something down below and let us know how we did. Also, any other ideas that you would like to share for other people, we'd love it. Go ahead and like, subscribe to our channel, become part of our Life and Yet family. We really do appreciate you for being here. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you're going to enjoy this trip right along with us. Keep lifing it until you're loving it.